Okay, um, I still don't have my computer, so um, it's going to be a, it's going to be quite a while. So everything that I'm making on video is just going to be very rough, and uh, so go past that and enjoy the informative uh, tutorial. And um, I'll give you some information that's important, and hopefully I can answer your questions on the web if you ever have any. And so let's get to it. This is uh, something that I do in the morning uh, before a heavy workout and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today because I'm actually feeling really good today. So uh, let's get, let's, uh, let me show you what there is, okay? So over here we got cucumber which is great for connective tissue. Um, my number one, I tell you, is cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. Parsley, an amazing antioxidant. And we've got right here beets. I love beets. And uh, I'll tell you more about beets on uh, the web page. But this is uh, fantastic. Uh, the Russian army actually used beets during the war. And uh, so I think it helps with your blood cells. So. Um, but I'll get more into it on the net, on Way of the Dove. Now, avocados are fantastic for the brain. And for smoothies, they can be a substitute for bananas. So uh, they have such a nice creamy uh, feel to it. <clears throat> and over here, I have some nuts in the morning. And they're loaded with minerals and whatnot. This is a great brain food. So, and those are walnuts, just so you know. And over here, what we got is protein powder from Omega Nutrition. And from Omega Nutrition, we also got um, GLA. Let's see if you can see that. GLA. And it has Omega 3, 6, and 9. That's important for the body, extremely. So let's get uh, to how we're going to put it together. So first, we're going to add some water. So I use about two cups. Now we're going to just throw in the parsley because that stuff is a little bit difficult to chop up at the beginning. So I put that in first, put in the cucumber. There. And let's put in the beets. And let's cut up the orange. But before we do that, let's put the powder in. And now this is, uh, I don't know if you can read it here. Let me just turn it around. Oh, I guess it's just in, okay. There, right there, it's pumpkin seed. So that's uh, very high in protein. So let's put in the GLA. There we go. I usually use about a capful. And then we're going to mix the rest. Now, um, what I have here is the avocado, so I'm going to scoop that out. But let's place the orange in there. And let's scoop the avocado. I use this. So here we go. Let's put this over here. Now as you can see here, I've scooped it out with a spoon. Uh, this is the perfect spoon for scooping out avocados. I love it. Let's get that in there. There we go. There's the second or the second half of the avocado. And we're going to start blending. 
Here we go. Now for me to add some sweetness, I'm going to add uh, xylitol. Now xylitol is uh, great for fighting cavities and this is just something that I've added myself. You can add um, maple syrup which is good for the pancreas and um, what else? Oh you can use honey. Um, you can get different types of honey from the Honey Bee store in Surrey or from wherever you are, wherever you're watching this from, look for a honey, honey special store. Um, one that I really like to use is just normal sweet honey. There, there's also, um, I wish I could remember the name right now, um, there's another um, honey that it's kind of a dark rich flavor but you, they're just, there's you know piles of different honeys that you can try to use. So here we go, let's pour this in there may seem like a lot but actually it's not that much. Um, you can also substitute with grapes, apple, um, anything that's uh, of the sweet nature that has sugar in it. But this is what I like to use. Now, last but not least, uh, this is something that I prepared way ahead of time, is I bought organic grapes uh, a little while ago, and now that they're all frozen like ice cubes, and I just leave these things on, and I just chuck them in there. So let's put a couple in. They're good to go and strawberries are amazing for your body. So let's put that in there. There you go. And this is actually really good. Tastes very creamy and like I said I highly advise you to use maple syrup uh, instead of xylitol but you know my preference is to use the xylitol for other reasons for my teeth but uh, maple syrup goes a long way just adding a little bit. And um, the last thing that I did add that I didn't really say uh, is the uh, coconut milk. Man does it have a good flavor to it. So there you are and you've got enough for the whole day. Make sure you um, like I have mugs like these because I can screw a top on it and what I do is I fill it up right to the top and put the lid on and put it in the fridge because you don't want any oxygen in there and you don't want any light. So I put that in the fridge and it gives me a couple hours, you know, five hours at the max for me uh, until I notice the taste difference. And of course, you know, the quicker you drink it from the time that you produce it, the better you are. So there you go.